The countdown to Iditarod 52 continues with the ceremonial start in downtown Anchorage less than two days away. Before the race has even started, this year has been mired in controversy, with two mushers being disqualified, one of them being reinstated, but still not running the race. Even with those controversies, on Saturday morning, 38 mushers will once again hit the trail, and a very important step was completed tonight, the musher draw. Sports director Jordan Rodenberger was at the Denina Center, and he has the latest. Tracy, there is no way around it. The outside noise leading up to the idea rod has been loud, but not very clear as controversy continues to circle the race. But tonight, no mention or discussion of that at the banquet, as this was about the 38 mushers who are running this year's Iditarod with three former champions and 16 rookies getting their first taste of the last great race. Honorary musher is Wilson Hughes, while the first team out of the shoot will be Anna Barrington. You see her reaction there. Running without her twin sister, Christy, for the first time since 2011, Dallas CV Bib 7 as he goes for title six, while reigning champ Ryan Reddington middle of the pack at bib 21. Final team out on the trail will be veteran Paige Drobny of the Squid Acres Kennel. Maybe these mushers have a favorite number or something, but to many, the bib number means very little. But the first musher to draw was Hunter Keefe, who pulled bib number 10. And Keefe fulfilled a lifelong dream last year when he finished the Iditarod as a rookie. And when I say lifelong dream, I mean it. Here he is as a child in Michigan, dressed up for Halloween as an Iditarod musher wearing bib number 10, the same bib number he drew tonight. One of the many cool storylines you just simply can't make up, and we'll be bringing you throughout the 1,000-mile race, including more from that meet and greet later in the broadcast. Tracy.